Hey guys, Jeff here, Aromatix. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well, as always. I'm doing pretty good, getting some stuff done. Winterizing my motorbike and charging the battery right now. So I made a pipe to smoke while I was doing that, and now that it's charging, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy that pipe and do a little review for you guys on Kendall, Gowith and Hogarth's Kendall mixture, as well as discuss uh, a topic that's probably gonna go on for a couple of videos or so. And that's just how to, you know, some good techniques to help de-stress your life and to help with anxiety. Uh, I know a lot of people out there, it's a big thing with all the busy and crazy stuff that's happening in our world. And uh, it's, I think it's very important to be able to live your life with as little stress and anxiety as possible to help us just be productive and happy people. So I'll discuss that a little bit in my video once I get my pipe lit up and do a little bit of a discussion and a review on the tobacco I am smoking. So yes, I am smoking Gowith and Hogarth's Kendall Mixture, which is a kind of mysterious, as, I don't, as in I don't really know exactly what's in it, but it's a shag cut mixture of Virginias and Burleys and there's obviously some dark fired something in there I don't know if the Virginias are dark fired or the Burleys are dark fired or or both and it's kind of a, a similar and in the same series in vein as there's um, Kendall's uh, um, what is it Kendall's dark bird's eye in Dark Kentucky, those shag cuts, it's very similar to those. Look very similar, a little bit lighter. And lighter in taste as well. So if you like those two blends, this would be the lighter, the lighter version of both of those. It's, uh, and I'm smoking it in, uh, by the way, in uh, my St. Claude Colombe pipe, which I picked up at a, a local antique store here in the town where I live. Um, so what you basically get is there's a little bit of a brightness on one side from the Virginias and then the kind of a cigar-y taste on the other side from the Burleys and a dark fire taste. Not as deep and as rich as a dark bird's eye or um, brown bogey or those twists. But you get that similar thing going on. Um, this would be the lighter of all those blends. It's good when sometimes I don't really want a really rich dark you know, dark tastes like the brown bogey or the brown number fours or the the twists. I just want something a little bit a little bit lighter, but still have that dark fired smokiness. Then this is usually what I go to, especially this time of year when it's cooler weather, but not really cold weather. The colder it gets, the richer the blends that I smoke. That seems to be the pattern anyway. It's a, a shag cut, which I'll show you right here. Almost a roll your own type of, type of just really fine uh, stringy tobacco that burns pretty quick. So you got to pack it f probably tighter than, than you're usually used to packing a, uh, like a coarse cut or a ribbon cut tobacco. Don't get any tongue bite on it. It can get harsh if you smoke it quick. A little cigarette -y maybe. It doesn't really taste like a cigarette, but that kind of harsh harshness that a cigarette might that rem might remind you of a cigarette. So okay, so the second uh, something I wanted to talk about was uh, a technique that I use on de-stressing um, de-stressing my life. Uh, it's a technique that you would use if you have like say a, a big issue that's kind of really eating at you, and it's kind of stopping you from from moving on. Like you're so like say not you're not sleeping good or you just can't seem to <clears throat> move forward because you're stuck in this cycle of you know what ifs what ifs and where your mind just goes through all these crazy scenarios so this is a great technique three-step uh, technique that I use to kind of settle your mind and be able to improve your situation and move forward and not have to stew about it all the time which is terrible for your mind it, it just wreaks havoc on your body and your mind and your happiness and your overall well-being. So, here's the three steps. I'll go through the three steps first. Number one, ask yourself in this situation, what's the absolute worst that can happen to me? 
like what in this scenario what what, what are the worst things that that like the worst thing that can happen number two settle yourself to that fact of that worst case scenario so just say this is what's good this is a, this is what could happen and I'm gonna settle myself that this could happen and I'm gonna have to deal with it that's number two number three is now that I've settled that this absolute worst case scenario what are the steps that I can take today to improve on those on that scenario so let's maybe come up with a good example to use here um, let me see say you uh, here's a common one you you get word that um, you you might get laid off from from your work okay and so that might cause you some stress and you're, you're worried and you're thinking, you know, what am I going to do? I have a family to feed or have bills to pay. So step number one, what is the absolute worst that could happen? So say for me, I would say I'm going to get laid off. Am I going to go, you know, am I, am I going to go hungry? Probably, you know, not probably not here in Canada. Am I going to lose, you know, everything I have? Probably not. But will I, you know... But I probably will have to um, make up, or I probably will have, you know, not have all the luxuries that I have. I won't have all the, you know, might not be able to smoke cigars that I like, or I might, um, you know, maybe I might lose my job, or, or I mean, lose my uh, my car or something, depending on how bad it is. So I've come to that conclusion that those things could happen. That's the worst case scenario. So step number three is what can I do today? or right away to improve that situation. Well, first, if you're a pipe smoker, I recommend getting out your pipe. And let's think about this. So, what can I do? Well, number one, I could get my resume ready. I can, you know, I can maybe make some contacts, talk to some people. Uh, that I've that I've known in the past. I got some friends that have that have uh, that do side jobs. I could talk to them and give them my situation. Um, I could yeah, so network. I could maybe look at getting some sort of a loan to protect to protect me or to fall back on while I'm waiting to or try to look into some assistance or talk to Pete, some friends or family. So those are things I can do to improve my situation. And doing those things, first of all, setting, settling the situation at its worst, it, it, even though it's like it might be seem bad to you, at least you've settled. You've settled. You're not going through all these crazy scenarios. You've already settled at the worst one, and now you can just relax and and um, how should I say this? You can effectively start to improve on that situation because if you haven't settled it if your mind is going to and fro you just can't move forward you can't make good decisions because you're just in this like fog of unknowns but now you know you have a, a good situation that you can specifically deal with and each little thing that you do to improve on that is now you can actually think of things you can improve objectively and doing those little things will just calm your mind and help you to improve on those on on that worst case scenario so those that's the technique that I use and I use it for a lot of different things um, there's other techniques that I use as well but this is just one of them that I find is very effective and most of all to finish this video is and this is a topic in itself is the worst case scenarios that you're gonna come up with 99% of the time never even come true sometimes you'll just get laid off or the worst case scenario doesn't even happen you don't get laid off or, or it's for a short period of time or you get a job right away or who knows I just look back and I look at all these things that I used to be afraid of and almost none of them ever really happened so yeah so anyway I hope you guys uh, got some got a little bit of encouragement out of that and I hope you guys can use these techniques as well and if you guys have any good techniques or have ever used this uh, let me know leave a comment in the bottom I'd, uh, I'd like to know so, all right, guys, you guys have a great day, and uh, we'll see you on my next uh, video. Take it easy. Aromatics, signing out.